Hello and welcome to another episode of From No Crypto to No Crypto. This is the Crypto Coach Blockchain Wayne with another cryptocurrency podcast. Today's episode brought to us by Unchained University, cryptocurrency education platform designed to bring cryptocurrency to the masses and educate everybody about this revolutionary technology. It's also brought to us by Coincierge Club, mobile private key wallet and point of sale solution, helping to make crypto safe, easy and overall process more efficient while costing less helping to take crypto mainstream. Let's jump right into things. So it's been a while since I put out an episode. If you've been keeping up with the episodes that I have put out, I've really been focusing on building content for Unchained University. Unchained University is a membership-based platform that I'm building out to educate people about all aspects of cryptocurrency, uh, all aspects of the history of money, and anything and every everything related to it. It's gonna be an ongoing, ever-growing program that's going to bring education, uh, has a way to earn crypto, just to put you at the forefront to make sure that you're doing what you got to do to learn more. Uh, so more information about that will be included in the comments with this podcast. So make sure you check out those links below or wherever it is, depending on what platform you're listening on. So today's episode, I really wanted to dive in. So this is it's right before Christmas, right before a lot of people are going to be getting together for the holidays. And really I should have put this out a few days ago. Some people may have already been getting together for the holidays. And you, if you're listening to this podcast, you already have some interest in crypto, but you're going to be around friends and family members and a lot of people you don't see very often. And some of them may know that you're involved in cryptocurrency or that you're dabbling around in it or whatever you are doing, or the topic may just come up. Bitcoin is a hot topic. Blockchain is a hot topic, anything and everything in between. So how do you really talk to people about that? The biggest thing is don't try to over explain it. Don't try to get too crazy. Just kind of give them the basics and point them in the direction of where they need to go. That's what I started doing in the beginning. When I first started doing my podcast and I first wrote my book, I was in no way um, extremely fluent when it came to what cryptocurrency is. I felt I knew more than most people uh, because most people haven't even heard of it or even looked into it. But all I did was point people towards the resources. I was not the source of the information. I was just pointing them to the source. Right. So if they want to know what Bitcoin is. Hey, find a short two minute YouTube video on what is Bitcoin. You can find it. It's simple. You want to know what blockchain is. Boom. Same thing. They want to get more detailed. You can go get more detailed. Uh, you want to get more technical. You can point them towards Andreas. Andreas Antonopoulos. His YouTube channel has tons of information. One of the most knowledgeable guy when it comes to Bitcoin and crypto. So you've got all that information at your fingertips. But just what you need to stress to people is the importance of understanding and positioning yourself in front of this revolutionary technology. Now, Bitcoins and crypto has been up, down, all around, every which way, right? You, If you've been in a while, you, sometimes you felt like you were on top of the world, and other times you felt like you were on a sinking ship. But when you understand the implications of this revolutionary technology, what it can do, and also the problems we're seeing happen... Hope you realize just the U.S. alone is going to bar- is going to borrow over half a trillion dollars this month uh, from the Federal Reserve, and banks are doing that. What's called repo loans. I've talked about this in past episodes uh, because I started doing it in September, where it's a constant bailout. It, it's basically a bailout on repeat because they're constantly borrowing money because they don't have the liquidity to be able to bring in the money they need to do. So imagine you, you go get a payday loan and then you go to the casino to gamble with it, hoping you're going to make enough to pay back that payday loan and some. That's what's happening right now. Now, in correlation with that, at the same time this money is being pumped into the banks, the stock market is going on unprecedented runs up, right? So people are sitting on, on the high horse thinking that the stock market is just going up, up, up. But I think it's propped up on house of cards because it's going to collapse because what banks are doing, they're borrowing money, they're investing it into investments, many times in stock markets to turn a quick profit and then pay back those loans. Those loans are supposed to be paid back overnight, but what's happening is the, the Fed has extended the terms to as much as 14 days. So the Federal, the, the Federal Reserve's balance sheet is continuing to grow and grow and grow and it's not sustainable. So Without getting into too much of that, just know that the current system has some serious flaws and the best thing to do is position yourself, right? Imagine that you are, 
you know, you are working, say you're a manager or leader at, say, Blockbuster Video Store. Remember where you used to go and and rent movies? You'd have to drive there, get out, hopefully they had it in stock and and rent it, rent it out. And you found out about some new technology where people could just press a button from home and stream it straight to their TV. You would want to be in front of that. Well, Blockbuster was given that opportunity and they passed and look at where Blockbuster is today. Completely gone. Right. And when you think about new technology, that's what cryptocurrency is. That's blockchain. What blockchain infrastructure can do with the decentralization aspect. Now, keep in mind when it's decentralized, anybody can create a blockchain. A company can create a blockchain. But if they run all of all of the the nodes on that blockchain are controlled by the company, it's not decentralized. But decentralized networks can truly revolutionize a lot of things where trust and power has been abused by people. You're thinking government, law, right? Anything and everything in between in business, anytime where we have to pay a third party um, to be able to do something, whether it's to make a transaction, whether it's to purchase a home, close on a home, do a title search on a home, buy a car, all these different things can be fixed with that. Buying artwork. Imagine buying artwork and having zero doubt whether or not it's, it's, it's authentic or it's a replica because you can track the movement of that physical good through a digital blockchain and potentially a digital token that is tied to the ownership of the physical good as well. That's how big this can be. So you just really need to implicate when you talk to people how big it is to understand this. And also some people may want to throw a few dollars in. I teach people until you learn how to trade, dollar cost average is your best bet, but keep in mind that is a long-term strategy. Long term, I know cryptocurrency is going up huge, but in the short term, it could go down quite a bit before we go back up, All right? If you look at any market, it never goes straight up, it never goes straight down. There's different steps, up, down, up, down, right? We saw Bitcoin started the year below 4,000, hit all the way up to 13,000. Right now, at the time of this recording, we're sitting around 7,500, and we went lower than that. We could go even lower because the prior low was sitting around 3,200. So what if the new bottom low on this new trend is 4,000 or 5,000 or 6,000. We don't know, but the long-term trend is up. So I say all that to say, make sure you understand your strategy. Don't panic if it goes down, just continue to buy more. And this method gets mis, you know, misinterpreted, misunderstood, or some people would just say HODL, H-O-D-L, which is slang for, you know, hold, you know holding. Uh, you know, it's just, it started out with a misspelling and now it's big in the crypto space, holding, it's not good just to hold through a dip unless you're adding to your position during that dip because when it recovers, you'll be back in the profit quicker. So that's why I teach people dollar cost average. You don't have to put 10 grand into crypto today, but if you got 10 grand to put in, hey, start putting in 50 to 100 bucks a week, right? Start putting it in and see where it goes. And that's what I've been doing for the last few years. Yes, I trade now, I day trade, I swing trade, I leverage trade, but all within reason. But I also have another position. Where I'm just adding to it every day. I'm just putting it in, forgetting about it, right? No matter what the price is, every week at the same time, I'm making the same purchase. I may switch what I'm buying, but I'm doing that. So teach people to do that. Don't go in with your life savings, but maybe cut back on Starbucks a few times a week and throw some money into crypto. And then I also, you can teach them how to go into Coinbase Earn and earn some free crypto. They're gonna learn more about crypto. They're gonna earn some cryptocurrency. So there's links also in the description here to where you can go to Coinbase, go to Coinbase, earn, and there's different cryptocurrencies that will pay you a few dollars worth of crypto or more to learn about that crypto. You watch a short two minute video and then you take a one question quiz and you're done. You get paid for that. And then there's a few of them where you can earn more by referring them. So if you want, be positioned to have those referral links ready because referral links are not to be just spammed on Facebook, on your Facebook page or spammed in Facebook groups that, that talk about crypto. You're not going to get anywhere with that. But if you pique someone's interest that you know about crypto and then you send them your referral link, then Coinbase will pay you for sending them that referral. And when they take that and they earn that free crypto, you're going to earn free crypto as well. So position yourself for that. Bravo Coin is another one I like to teach people about. Bravo Coin is one, it's an app you can download to where you can leave reviews, kind of like Yelp, but you can leave reviews on everything. 
um, restaurants, movies, books, crypto exchanges, hotels, anything and everything in between. There's a lot of stuff in there. And as you leave reviews or interact on the platform, it's going to pay you in crypto. And then there's an option in there also to refer friends, where when you refer friends, you'll also earn crypto in the form of Bravo coin. Now, Bravo coin is traded on a couple exchanges. You can choose to send it to those exchanges and sell it, or you can keep it and hold it and see where this project is going. Me personally, I cashed out a little bit just to have proof of concept that it could be cashed out. But the most part, it's all sitting in my wallet and I'm accumulating that position. I go eat somewhere now, I leave a review. I go, I watch a movie, I leave a review. So I constantly do that and you're getting rewarded for that content. Now, when you do it on Yelp and Google or anywhere else, nobody's paying you for that. Guess who's getting paid for that? The companies, the companies, uh, Yelp and Google, they're getting paid for that, but you are not. So that's where you wanna kind of you know show that benefit and just teach people to start learning about crypto. If they wanna learn more, we've got Unchained University. Unchained University is a membership-based platform and right now I'm going in the process of revamping everything to where we just launched last month, got about 80% of the content already ready to go uh, and I'm constantly adding to it every day. But you can go and you can, you can jump in and right now our regular pricing is $30 a month, $2.99 a year, or $3.99 for a lifetime. And I put out some coupon codes that are in, in, the, in the chat in the description where it'll make the first year 99 or lifetime 299. I'm also going to go in by the time this thing is posted. So as you, if you're listening to it right now, uh, there's also going to be a coupon code to where if you want to do on the monthly, I uh, got something that'll take the monthly from $30 a month to $10 a month. And this is going to be for a limited time. Not sure how long I'm going to run it. Um, probably through the end of January, but 10 bucks a month, hop in, start learning about crypto. We have crypto rewards. You earn more about crypto, but also within that, I'm available to answer questions, to be able to, you know, connect with you if you have questions, if you have a specific question about crypto or blockchain or a wallet or how to set up an exchange account. All those things were available for, because I know when I was getting into crypto, not many people we knew knew anything about it. So we were bouncing questions off of each other, and when one person would figure it out, we'd share it with everybody else. Well, that a lot of that work's already been done. So just plug into the system and that's what you're doing. And then you got online modules you can go in and after you complete each module, you'll earn cryptocurrency for that, for taking those courses, for learning about cryptocurrency. And I also, within there, I show you how to earn different resources to earn free cryptocurrency. So realistically, even if you did the $99 for a year or the $10 a month, at the end of that year, you'll probably, or you should have, if you followed the courses, have earned more value in crypto than what you paid to get in the program. So this program is not necessarily going to be free. You put the work in and it could be better than free because you're going to earn money as you go through it. You also earn a percentage back in Unchained Coins for every module you complete. And that Unchained Coin is backed in value by 15% of all membership fees. So 15% of all membership fees goes into a trading pool that backs the value of Unchained Coin. So if you want to cash out some, you just got to reach out to me with how many you have, look at the current value of it, and then we'll make a swap. We'll make a purchase, peer-to-peer -peer transaction, as crypto was designed to be, and you can cash it out for, now you'll cash it out in Bitcoin or any of the major cryptos that you can then cash out on Coinbase. Hey, if you need it back in the cash, that's fine. Right now, we're utilizing new technology on an old infrastructure. That's why right now, you've got to have entryways and exit points for crypto. You need a place to be able to insert your money into the market. You need a place to be able to pull cash out of the market. But imagine a day in the very near future where that's not going to be the case. You won't need to cash it out. I could send you Bitcoin and you can go to wherever you need to go and pay in Bitcoin or, or instantly convert it to something else that you can pay with. Because Bitcoin may, by, may not be the payment method, but Bitcoin may be the storage method and the, the major transfer method from peer to peer. But for transactional, small tra micro transactions, like a few dollars at a time, Maybe you, you want to go buy some Burger King. Maybe you can use a crypto to pay for that. And But we're going to help you try to cipher through that. There's thousands of different cryptocurrencies out there. And 99% of them are not going to make it because there's nothing special about them. You can Anybody can create a cryptocurrency. 
but the ones that have real purpose, real use case, and real technology behind it are the ones that are going to thrive. And there's a few of them. Got some great inside scoops on that we're going to share with you in Unchained University. The other thing we teach you in Unchained University is how to avoid scams. There's a lot of scams that are out there. There are scams along the way that come along. Anything promising passive returns or too big of returns to be logical, right? Then chances are nine times out of 10 or most of the time, 10 times out of 10, it is a scam. And I'm not afraid to call it like it is, look into it, see what I see and call it a scam. And a lot of times it, it pisses a lot of people off. A lot of people, you know, that because people get paid to remote it. So it, it ends up having a network marketing like effect. Uh, and don't get me wrong. If you know me, I, I absolutely love the network marketing business when done right product businesses. There are great products out there that are network marketing, but I've really yet to see a cryptocurrency uh, program in the space that's legitimate, in the network marketing space that's legitimate. Uh, so there's different ones that we've called in the past and they ended up being scams. And there's even one right now that's in the process of collapsing called Cloud Token, or you may also hear it called Cloud 2.0. That's when a, you know the main program was running out of steam, so they call it something else to try to breathe some new life into it. That was in the process of collapsing right now as people were being arrested. And I've had people call me names and block me on social media because I was just calling the facts, look into it, and it's a scam. So we teach you how to identify those things and stay away from it. Sometimes people are blinded by greed or selfishness and they think, yes, I can earn a 30% return a month or 30% return even a year just by holding this cryptocurrency. That's not the case. Now, there are some cryptocurrencies that you can get into just that you can just go on an exchange and buy that may go up and value that over the next year. But it's nothing's guaranteed. And you got to really, you know, educate yourself, learn more, up your game if you want to be able to participate in that. There's going to be no golden ticket where you just buy this crypto and it compounds every month. The next thing you know, you're rich. It's not going to happen. But cryptocurrency can still be life changing for you if you decide to step in and do about it. So. This is not just for you. You're going to talk to people, like I said, over the holiday time, see people maybe you haven't seen in a while. Bring up the topic of cryptocurrency or have them, you know, if they know, already know that you're involved, they're going to bring it up. But be prepared to talk about it. Be prepared to talk, send them resources and have them go to learn more, right? They can earn over $100 right now just by going on Coinbase, going to Coinbase Earn. If they don't have a Coinbase account, send them a referral link so they create a Coinbase account. And then they go to Coinbase Earn within the Coinbase website or in the app, it's in the app now too, and they can go click through and watch these videos and earn free crypto, right? I, just this week alone, I've earned over $70 worth of free crypto on Coinbase. So this is something, but once you hold it, this is the trick. When I didn't, I wasn't interested in learning about Bitcoin until I had some, and then I needed to figure out what the heck do I have. So your friends and family may not be that interested or interested enough to dig into crypto to see what the big deal is, but once they own some, they're going to want to know more about it. They're going to want to find out. So send them a little bit or send them to those sites, get them to have some free crypto and just really, you know, spread, spread the word about crypto in cryptocurrency in, you know, throughout the holiday time. So uh, hopefully this was helpful. This is something that's really been on my mind a lot. I wanted to post it sooner, but I've been really tied up with content and really busy with other things. So, you know, hopefully this is helpful. And like I said, everything I talked about with the different links, they're going to be in the description of this podcast. So make sure whatever platform you're listening on, go to the description. We'll have those links. But the referral links, those are for me to you that if you haven't utilized them already to use them and we both benefit. But after that, when you're talking to friends and family, make sure you copy down and save all of your referral links to be able to send to them. That's the proper way to use a referral link. After you pique someone's interest and they have an interest in it, then send it to them. It's not saying, all right, I've got a thousand people in my phone contact list. I'm going to spam every single one of them with a referral link. Or this Facebook group has 100,000 members. Let me just post it in this Facebook group. So that's it for today's episode. Uh, hopefully it was helpful. And we will catch you on the next episode.